Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Uh, my name is Hassan Azhar. I, I am your tutor for financial risk management. Today we already discussed uh, that we will discuss about the interest rate forwards that we really termed as forward rate agreement, FRA in the simple form. Uh, we need to uh, have all the topics uh, for the, uh, we are discussing about the pricing and the valuation of this contract. We already started this topic in our class and uh, today we again discuss the same topic but uh, so that we understand and we will solve all of this discussion from our home. The FRA, for, to understand the FRA we need to always understand this timeline. So the FRA contract is a contract which is starting from today that we call it as zero and that have a duration of M. Now the underlying contract uh, should base on some duration of the loan uh, and we term that duration as M and that expires in an H period and we call it as an expiration. So this whole contract is based on H plus M days. In FRA market, as we already discussed, that the contracts are created with specific days counts. We will use the letter H to refer the day on which the FRA expires. And as we already discussed, that we will use the letter M to refer the duration of the underlying FRA. There are H days from today until the FRA expiration and we term that as H plus M days until the maturity date of the Yoribar instrument or the LIBOR instrument or any other instrument, which is on which the FRA based. The date indicated as G here, as we as we've seen here, is is the date that we uh, in previously we termed as, as a small t. We we just changing this notation as G, and that is any day the rate at of any day between zero to H days. So we will. On the basis of G, we will calculate the value of our forward contract on any day on G here. So uh, the first thing that we need to understand for pricing and the valuation of FRA, that we need to understand the terminology that we usually used for FRA contracts. So the terminology we used to identify the FRA will be termed as H into H plus M. As we already discussed, that H is the expiry of the contract while the H plus M is the total contractual days. So we'll always write the notation of the FRA in months, but usually the question appears in days. So we need to convert every each days into months. So usually mostly uh, we take 30 days as one month. Let's suppose that we want to understand this, uh, how to write uh, the FRA. Let's suppose there is an FRA that expires in 30 days and the duration of underlying loan is 180 days. So we need to write this FRA. So each 30 day will be converted into one month. So it means that we have an H value of one month and M value as six month. But as we know that we have H plus M, so it means that we need to write it as one month, that is the H into seven month, that is the H plus M, M is the six month and H is the one month. So it means they both will be written as seven. It means that we are interacted with an FRA that is have a duration of one into seven, right? So we need to understand first how to write the terminology of the FRA. Next question that we usually solve is how to price, uh, pricing the interest rate forward or how to calculate the intrinsic value of the FRA or the fair value of the interest rate forward and vice versa. For that, this formula will be used as FRA 0, that is today, H, that is the expiry, M, the underlying asset or on which this FRA will hold, is equal to 1 plus L0. L0 is used for the LIBOR. We can call it, a, we can, instead of using LIBOR, we can use the Yoruba in a French or a, uh, Spanish markets. And in Pakistan, we usually termed is as a Kaibor we use as, as K instead of L, not in, in Pakistan. So we need to understand what does mean by L naught H plus M. It means this is a rate which cover the whole contextual period. So if we have H 30 days 
and m 180 days so it means that we need to write here a rate that cover the 210 days that is the contextual period of the whole contract and the same days will be written as h plus m here then we need to divide it 1 plus l not h that means we need to use a rate for 30 days and then h that is a 30 30 by 360 minus 1 from this whole uh, 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 factor and then we multiply 360 over m that is the 180 so we will solve uh, this question simply and we will get a rate an FRA rate for that time but that FRA rate usually compared with the current rate or at any time T or G or it will be compared at the expiry of the contract so for any uh, time G or T we have a formula that a value at any time G is equal to 1 over 1 plus that is the rate of H minus G let's suppose if we have a expiry contract uh, H as a 30 days and we have just passed 20 days so it means that H minus 1 H minus G that is the 30 minus 20 so it means that we need to use here a 10 day LIBOR rate and same 10 by 20, 360 from here then we need to minus 1 plus the FRA that we have calculated from the previous formula M that is the 180 over 360 that we are discussing in our example divided by 1 plus L naught H plus M was the 210 minus 20 that is the 190 day LIBOR rate and same 190 by 360 so we will get a valuation uh, as we already know that all the valuations are used for the long uh, or for the long uh, long person so if we get a pos positive value then the long will be benefit and if we will get a negative value then the long will be on the loss side then we have a, a value at expiry we use uh, this formula this will indicate that on the value of 180 day yuri bar or the 180 day live over is this value because we are using m as a 180 day so we need to use a rate of 180 day LIBOR minus FRA that we have calculated in part A during the pricing 180 divided by 360 and the same value and we written here and we will get an answer if it will be positive then we long is on benefit and if it is negative then the long will be on loss side so just try to solve this question that we already solved during the class practice problem 4 a corporate trader needs to hedge the risk of the interest shares on the future transactions the risk is associated with the rate of 180 day yuri bar that is the duration on which this contract is because this contract is being implemented in 30 days then this contract will be hold for the 30 days so it means that m is 180 days and h is 30 days the relevant term structures that he provided to us is 30 day yuri bar that it means that that is the rate that is the yuri bar rate for 30 days now for h days that is a 5.75 percent and this is the 210 day yuri bar that is 6.15 percent so in the same question he state that okay state the terminology of the fra as we already discussed that the terminology will be written as h into h plus m so h is here 30 days and h plus m is 210 days that is 180 days plus 30 days but we always need to write this thing in month so it means that we are interested in fra that is one for 30 days and that is the seven that is six plus one month that is the seven so we are interested in to f and fra that is one into seven fra right so this is the terminology we need to write the terminology of the fra that may be a requirement for us that we need to state how this fra and how this when this fra expires and what is the total duration this FRA hold so in B part he is saying that you need to calculate the rate for FRA that expiring in 30 days and on that based on 180 day yuri bar it means that we need to calculate the uh, pricing uh, or we need to calculate the uh, pricing of the right, fair value of the FRA or the intrinsic value of the FRA for that we use this formula as we already discussed so it means that we need a rate for 210 day yuri bar here and we need a rate for 30 day yuri bar here right and he provided those rates in the same question right we see here 30 day yuri bar and 210 day yuri bar so when we put the for values in the formula that is 1 plus 0 0.0615 into 210 that is the same the whole duration of the contract and 30 days that is the expiry 
and this rate will belongs to 30 days into minus 130 by 60 by 80. So we will get an FRA value as 0 0.0619. So it means that the FRA have a fair price of almost 6.19 percent. So uh, we, as we have, a, a, I think, a long position here, right? Uh, because we want to buy uh, this FRA. So uh, this is the rate that we can have uh, to buy this FRA. So in the second and the third question, he says, suppose the manager went long, as we already discussed, after 20 days. So it means that 20 days have been passed from the edge 30 days. So it means that we have remaining almost 10 days and that uh, that is going to expire this uh, contract. So he provides us the 10-day Yori bar, that is the H minus G, and he provides 190-day Yori bar, that is H plus M minus G. So we, we have needed these same two rates from here that is the h minus g rate we need 10 day yori bar and h plus m minus g that is the 190 day yori bar as we already calculated this rate in part b so putting the values into the formula that is the 1 over 1 plus 0 0.054 into 10 over 360 minus 1 plus that's the fra rate that we have calculated from this part so 0 0.0619 into this value Minus. So we will get a minus answer that is we are on the loss side and on the national principle we have a loss of almost 22,000 right Okay, in the last question we we need to calculate the expiration and on expiration the rate would be the 5.72 percent that we provided on D part that is the 180 euro bar is no 5.72 which means we have mostly we can see because we have contracted on 6.19 percent and the rate today is 5.72 percent that clearly indicate that we are on the last side but we need to calculate the loss through the formula that is the lhm that is the rate on expiry minus fr rate m over 360 one plus expiry rate into m over 360 by putting the values into this so we will get a result uh, a negative value that is the loss for, on the, uh, for us that because we are on the long position so we will get a loss of minus 0 0.0023 and this loss indicates that of our 20 million euros we have a loss of almost 46,000 due to this contract. I request you that this is the whole topic that we need to cover uh, today. Now we need to know we can solve question number 13, 14 and 15 uh, from the uh, practice problem. I request you please solve those questions and discuss with me if you have any problem. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Allah Hafiz.